Now let us pray. Lord God, your mercy, so abundant through the ages to look upon our estate and set yourself in the loneliness of it. To take on this coil, this mortal flesh, and in the appearance of a servant such as we, to bring redemption to all, life to all creation, and to call us back to the purpose with which we were first made, to bring you praise, to rejoice in you forever. Lord our God, even as we confess before you that we have not fulfilled this calling, so also we rejoice before you in the knowledge that comes in faith, in knowing that you continually call us back, that time and again we stand in forgiveness, that in all we try to do and fail, in all we do wrongly, in all that we leave incomplete, your grace is in abundance, to overflowing, that grace may flow even from us into the lives of others, that through our returns in praise, in the life we seek to lead in faith, the grace may be evident unto those who are seeking you also, who are lost in the way of life, distracted by life's diversions and troubles. Lord, we live in a troubled age, yet we see your presence all around us. We live in a time of anxiety and strife, when wellness is fleeting, when governments are anxious, when people are wondering what each day would bring with doubts and fears that cause us to feel separated from one another. Lord, we live in a day and age where because of disease, because of the weakness of our flesh, we feel unable, hindered in the sharing of grace, in the caring for our community, in the love we, we so openly have shown to friends and neighbors in the service we seek to do to those who are in need. Lord, these tasks, these parts of our life have become more difficult. Lord, they're not taken away from us. Lord, help us to rise in confidence, to see what we can do, what we should do, what we still must do, and how we can continue to praise you with our actions. Lord, take us away from complacency. Complacency to a worldview that would license all ways of being. That would dismiss sin as sin. That removes the call to be discerning and disciplined in our faith. Lord, help us to face the challenge of what we know, what we accept to be true, and what your word teaches. Lord, we ask your guidance upon the ministers you have called to faith and leadership in faith. For we are called to be those who offer distinction and difference, who set examples, who live by those examples, but Lord, who are deeply challenged. Challenged in what it means to be right. Not that we are righteous in ourselves, but, O oh Lord, we are held to a high account. That those who are led astray through teachings we offer, Lord, in so doing, we set millstones round our neck and upon those who serve with us. So, Lord, teach us to be responsible. Teach us again and give us eyes and hearts and minds that listen, that hear your spirit above and beyond our own ideologies. Lord, we pray for this world in all its great reason and discovery. In the wondrous things that science is learning of your methods, of how things are woven and stitched together with such intricacy and such complexity that it, it goes beyond the imagination 
itself. To the very matter of dust, to the collection of the universe and the movement of all of its parts. Lord, you are aware of all of this. And each atom has purpose in you. Lord, let our lives be captivated by that purpose. Be caught up in its movement. That those who would be our leaders might lead in the midst of your will. And recognize that it is from you that their power, their position is drawn. Lord, we pray for those who labor, labor hard. That we have food on our tables. That we have roads beneath our feet. That we have buildings that keep us warm. Places to go to get healing. Lord, that we have institutions in our society that run well. To govern us together. To draw us into fellowships even during this time of isolation and separation. Lord, we pray for those parts of the world that are in conflict. From nations unto families. Lord, we pray for peace. Lord, we pray for those who are in grief. For individuals who are now so isolated and alone. To families that are missing loved ones, especially in this season. To communities that look and to how they would run things and see key parts of how things run now gone from them. Lord, we pray. We pray for the eternal life we all celebrate before you. The beginning here and continuing to eternal life. This promise we share in Christ Jesus, who brings that last day. And us unto that kingdom where there is no more sorrow or suffering. Where tears dwell no more. We dwell in the light of your love forever. Lord, even as we endure here. Let us come into this season. As we look upon lights on trees decorating homes. But seek together the light that shines from Christ. As we look into the light and power of all creation, let us be reminded of first, first who called out into creation saying, let there be light. Let us receive that light of creation into our lives to find our being in you again. And Lord, bless us, we pray. Bless us with the strength and the grace that we will need to be a blessing unto all to whom you call us into service to ministry of your gospel, and to the continuing praise that we celebrate at this time of the year and throughout all the year, that Christ is come. Christ is coming again. Hallelujah.